We've uh, looked at this combination of hyper-CVAD uh, with blinitumumab and now more recently with inotuzumab azogamycin. So hyper-CVAD is a standard chemotherapy regimen for patients with pH uh, negative B-cell ALL. Historically, it was eight cycles of hyper-CVAD. We've now decreased the uh, total courses of hyper-CVAD to four cycles. So we've reduced the amount of chemotherapy, and then we follow that with four cycles of blinitumumab, and then a maintenance therapy of some POMP, which is standard maintenance, along with blinitumumab. And more recently, for the first time, we're, we're presenting our updated data, which shows the integration of inotuzumab into that uh, regimen as well. So, so far we've treated uh, 58 patients with this uh, combination. So 38 with the hyper-CVAD plus blinitumumab and 20 patients with the hyper-CVAD plus inotuzumab plus blinitumumab. Overall uh, response rates are very, very high and specifically MRD negative responses are very high. So we see MRD negativity achieved in 95% of the patients. So in the overall cohort, uh, the three-year survival rate is 85%. This compares uh, very favorably to historical data for just chemotherapy-free alone, chemotherapy alone uh, combinations in, in this group without the introduction of other, these other monoclonal antibodies. Uh, and for the first time, again, we're presenting the data with the addition of inotuzumab. So uh, the, the follow-up is still short, but it's very encouraging that so far the one-year one survival rate for the inotuzumab cohort is 100%, so there's been no deaths and no relapses in that cohort, so that's very encouraging.